grab a seat for this. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, and welcome. Well, this was supposed to happen about two hours ago, so I thought it was him. Uh, anyone that's, that does not know me, um, Adam has selected me as his best man. My name is Nick. We've been friends for about... for about 25 years now, rough to take a gift, who's counting? Yes, so um, I am honored that he selected me for this position. Um, to be truthful, he could have picked any one of his great friends here. But I think he picked me because I would pick on him the least. <laughs> if this was a roast, I would be up here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> He's an easy target. Uh, <laughs> he is not a loser. <laughs> So, uh, some people have asked, how did you, you and Adam become the best friends, considering we have such different personalities? Simply put, we were both the fat kids on the Raw School Playground. <laughs> we're working on it. Uh, none, of, none of the girls liked us. I was big for sports first. And we were always on the receiving end of the fat kid jokes. Uh, every friendship sounds so differently. And although it took us some time to thin out, and now it's time to go back the other way, uh, I cannot have asked for a better friend. So, uh, one thing that I want to add and throw out friendship, and I'm sure many people who have known him or are about to know him over the last few years could have agreed with me. Adam is the most indecisive yet impulsive person he know. <laughs> he might have the world record for most cars owned for a person under the age of 30. He's been to more colleges than most doctors. And if anyone asked me what music he likes, I would have absolutely no idea what to tell you. <laughs> for those of us close to Adam, it is no secret that he goes through internal conflicts anytime He's trying to make a big decision about big purchase. Uh, most recently, Adam decided to get into kayaking. Uh, <laughs> All right. So Adam sent me a link for a kayak. It was the Rolls Royce of kayaks. And I said, Adam, you should not do this. I told him no in three different languages. I said, Adam, go on Craigslist, get a cheap one. All right, it's your first one. Thing, all right, maybe he, he listened to me. Two days later, to nobody's surprise, completely against my advice, Adam was a proud owner of his kayak. <laughs> it is a nice kayak. Uh, you didn't need to do that, but it is nice. So, uh, like this situation and many others, and all his family knows this, Adam's mind is already made up. <laughs> uh, most often, when I give him ad advice, I know that it is going in one ear and out the other. <laughs> Uh, what I've come to learn is Adam is not actually looking for my honest opinion. He's just looking for me to back him up and tell him that he's right. <laughs> uh, and eventually, like always, Adam's going to do what Adam's going to do. And me, myself, and all his friends and family are there to support whatever situation he gets himself into. With this type of personality, we always wonder what type of girl Adam would spend the rest of his life with. <laughs> And then Melissa showed up. <laughs> and thank God she did. <laughs> Melissa, I don't know how you got yourself into this situation, but everyone in this room, especially on Adam's side, is glad you did. <laughs> you are one of the most down-to-earth, easy-going people that I, I know. You've been into our group of friends from day one, and no one has had a bad thing to say about you. To be truthful, I hesitated to get to know you, you at first. And it's not because I didn't like you, I figured Adam would screw this one up too. <laughs> Luckily, he, he did not. Melissa coming into Adam's life was one of those internal conflicts that he often goes through. He asked pretty much everyone on this side of the room, do you like her? Do you so fit with the friends? Uh, anything you can think of, I felt like I was being interviewed about her. Uh, the answer were yes across the board. But it wouldn't have mattered because Adam's mind was already made up. Melissa is a wonderful person and brings out the best in Adam. 
I cannot think of a more person for Adam to be with. Melissa, since you came along, Adam has been the best version of himself. Yeah. Adam, I am so glad you not screwed this up. This is the best decision you have ever made, for Melissa. Thank you for giving him a chance. And Adam, we're Melissa. All right, when you've asked her for her advice, and you've gone to her, all right, I want you to listen to her. What she's gonna tell you is probably not what you wanna hear, but to be truthful with you, it's probably gonna be right. It's right, all right, so don't forget that. With that said, I would like to raise a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Buckley. Woo! Happiness.